What's up? My name's Technoba here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for enabling coordinates on your Minecraft Bedrock server. So unlike the Java edition of Minecraft, we're unable to just hit F3, especially on console versions of the game. So how do we enable coordinates on our Minecraft Pocket Edition server? Well, if you're creating a world while you're making one, you'll see a show coordinates option, which you can simply toggle on. But what happens if you're hosting a server on another platform? How do we get it to work there? Well, all that you have to do is make sure that you have op on your server. If you'd like to know how to give yourself op and even enable cheats, click the I in the top right hand corner or click the link in the description down below for a video tutorial on how to do that. When you have op, you should be able to run commands, including the one we're about to run to enable the coordinates overlay. All that you have to do is hit forward slash and type in game rule space show coordinates space true to show coordinates or false to disable them. I'll hit enter. And as you can see, now my position is visible on the screen at all times. Running around, this should update as I go. To disable it, all you have to do is run the same command, but this time have it set to false. So once again, slash game rule space show coordinates space false and hit enter. After doing this, the coordinates will vanish off of your screen and you've successfully toggled them off. But as mentioned earlier, what happens if you don't have a keyboard? Well, we can do this through the service console to run the command for everyone. Head over to your server pro dashboard and then into the console section. Inside of here is where we can run commands. Simply type in game rule show coordinates space true or false here. Then hit enter and your command will be run. After a couple of seconds, it says it's been updated to true. If we have a look back at Minecraft, you can see my position is showing in the top left once again. And of course, if we set it to false using the console, as such, you'll see that they now disappear in game. But anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!